Okay, our uh, second case is a young lady that presents with no pain and previous root canal treatment. This was the initial root canal treatment and a very large periapical radiolucency, which initially appears to be a cyst, but we can't make that diagnosis radiographically. What was very interesting about this case to me was that, you know, when you see this type of lucency that's so dark, we automatically assume that it's a through and through lesion. And in fact, it was on the palatal, but not on the facial, as we'll see in just a second. So we retreated the case, and here is the final case. And we know that this was before, and this is after. And we know that this is, it's not going to heal. So we're, we're going to have to intervene here surgically. And the young lady is slated to undergo apicoectomy, and we're going to send this tissue in for a biopsy to confirm or uh, get our differential diagnosis, cyst, granuloma, whatnot. If we look at the uh, VR image, which is actually one of my favorite images to start to show my patients what actually is going on, we can see something really ideal here. If you notice right up here, this is the breadth of this cyst. Not only is it expansive mesially and distally, but it's expansive apically. And in this cone beam image, which is kind of gives you a great idea of what this technology is capable of. We see a large defect right above this tooth and we see the breadth of it. Uh, again, it's, this is going to be a very large cyst-like tissue that uh, we're going to have to eventually remove. Uh, again, we see the sinus here. Um, it, it is almost uh, um, expanded to the uh, anterior wall of the sinus. So. So let's go ahead and take a look at another view here. What you can appreciate from this view is that we have our wall here. You can see that thin line. So the facial is intact, but look at the breadth of this infection. Again, palatal is completely gone, and it extends all the way up. Uh, and then we knew that from our uh, virtual reality image, of course. So how does this affect my treatment planning, my uh, case acceptance? Certainly, it, when a patient sees something like this, they eventually want to have that treatment done. But um, treatment planning, it tells me that, well, you know, we're up against a very large cyst. We know we need to submit this for biopsy, which we always do regardless. It tells us how much bone that we need to augment. And now we know, because of the broken palatal aspect of bone, we know we have to augment and place a membrane in order to get healing in this area.